Hi and welcome to another BrettWeiss.com Excel VBA screencast tutorial. In today's tutorial we're going to be talking about the for each next loop in VBA. The for each next loop can be used to sort through each object in a collection or group of objects in Excel. So for instance we can use it to sort through each worksheet in the workbook, um, each open workbook, each cell in a range, each chart in a workbook, or each pivot table in a workbook. So here's the general syntax for the for each next loop. To start the statement we have the statement for each and then the element, so that's each individual element in our group or collection in and then the group or collection. Then we have some code statements for each element in the group. We can have an exit for statement to exit the for each loop prematurely and at the end of our code we have the syntax next and then element. If you're watching this video on YouTube and you'd like to view the code and download the workbook for this lesson, click the link in the info box of this video and it'll take you to brettweiss.com where you can watch the screencast, look at the code, and download the workbook. So to illustrate the for each next loop, I have a sample data set that shows the number of page views on a website for each month in a, in a particular year. So we have in sheet one, we have January, in sheet two we have February, in sheet four or in sheet three we have March, four April, and so on. And right now the data set is disorganized, it's ugly, it's not very easily navigatable, and it doesn't really tell us much. So just to start out, the first thing we're going to do is, so we're going to loop through each worksheet in this workbook and rename the worksheets to the abbreviation of the month's data. So for example, we'd want to name sheet one, we'd want to name it Jan, sheet two, we'd want to name it Feb. And to do this, we're going to use a for each next loop, and I'll demonstrate it now. So our sub's going to be called sub rename sheet. We're going to declare a couple variables first. We're going to declare a WS item as worksheet. And this is going to be our element in our group or collection of worksheets. We're going to declare the WS item variable as a worksheet, and this will allow us to loop through our collection of worksheets. So just a couple other variables we need to declare. And now let's start our for each next loop. So we want to say for each WS item so that's going to be for each worksheet in this workbook dot worksheets. That's the collection we want to reference. And then we want to say WS item dot name equals. Now we have each month's name in cell A1 of, our, of each sheet. Now we don't want the full name, we want the first three letters of the name. So what we'll do is we'll use the left VBA function and say WS item dot range A1 and then we're going to take the first three letters of that range. So we've set up our name, that's the code we want to run for each worksheet in the collection of worksheets. So that sets the name of our worksheet to the first three letters in whatever is in cell A1 of that worksheet. And then we're going to end our next, our for each next loop with the statement next WS item. And those other variables I declared, we're going to build out on this in next lesson and create an embedded for each next loop inside of this for each next loop to make our macro a little bit more useful. So let's test this macro out. We're going to go up to the developer tab, into macros, and we're going to hit our rename sheet macro. And we're going to run it and see what it does. And you'll see now each worksheet in that collection, as it ran through the code, it changed the name of each worksheet to the corresponding month of the data. So there you have it. We used a variable, WS item, to loop through all of the worksheets in the current workbook and then we change the name of each of those worksheets in a loop. So I'm just going to run a macro that undoes that I've created that undoes what I just that I just did. So I'm going to go reset up. Now our sheets are back to sheet one, sheet two, sheet three, sheet four. Now we're just going to go through and we're going to add a watch and we're going to we're going to call it 
ws item dot name and now we're just going to see what what's actually happening as we go through this loop so if we press f8 and start running through the code we can see as soon as we hit this line of code we see that ws item dot name changes to sheet one so that's the sheet we're in right now we're going to execute this line of code it's going to change it in that sheet and then we're going to go to the next item to sheet two we'll execute that line of code the value changes to the three letters of the first three letters of the month and we loop through each sheet changing the name as we go until we've went through each worksheet in the workbook so there's our final data it is December we'll exit the loop and we'll exit the sub so that's an introduction to the for each next loop in the next lesson I'll build on that by embedding another for each next loop and we'll create a full report out of this data I want to thank you for watching this video on brettweiss.com have a great day